In the latest release of Luminar, which is Luminar 4.2, I'm going to show you how with one of the new features, which is AI Augmented Sky, you can very quickly turn this image here into this image here. Let's dive right in. Okay, for this example, I'm going to use one of the new features in Luminar 4.2, which is AI Augmented Sky. And what this does, within the object selection, I can choose any of these items here and they will be placed against the background sky. For this image, however, I am going to use Planet 3. And you see that drops in nicely, no masking, nothing is appearing round about it. So what you can do as well is if I decide that's too big, I can shrink it down and I can move it around over here or bring it back there. But for me, I am going to leave it in the middle here. I'll just take that up in size ever so slightly. And I'll place that there because that suits this image perfectly. Then click place object. I'm also going to edit the mask here. So I can go in here, use a brush, radial mask, gradient or luminosity to edit this. For this example, I'm going to use the brush. And I'm going to use the arrays with softness at 100 and opacity at 100. And if you watch here, you'll see that that will begin to erase. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually creating the atmosphere of the planet that this spaceman is standing on. So that there for me looks okay. I may take it back in slightly. So again, using the mask and the brush and paint, I can paint back in. So I'll take it to about there. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add sun rays. And I'm just going to put the sun rays there. Then I'm going to place the sun centre and place it behind the astronaut, just roughly about there. Increase the penetration slightly, the overall look, and the amount. Just to around that, just to give this effect in here. Next thing I'm going to do is I am going to stamp this layer. And I'll show you why I'm going to stamp the layer. Create a new stamped layer. Within this new stamped layer, I'm going to go back in to AI Augmented Sky. And I am going to choose another object. And in this case, I am going to go for Birds 3. And as you see, they drop in there. But for this image, they're just too big. So what I'm going to do is place the object. Grab one of the handles, scale them right down to around there. Take them over just to there, just to help with the composition. So what I'm going to do is zoom in and just show you how these look when it's zoomed in. For me, I am going to reduce the opacity of these. So I take that back to there, which again with this image makes them seem as if there within the atmosphere of this. Next thing, close that, go into sun rays, and we're going to double the sun rays here. So I'm going to pull the amount up, then I'm going to place center, sun center, and I'm going to put it in about there, and I'm just going to tweak this slightly. So I may take the amount up, overall look, pull it back, just to darken the image down to give more effect, more drama to this image. Take it to a bit there. And that for me is the image done. Hopefully that video provided a quick taste of what the new feature in Luminar 4.2, AI Augmented Sky, can do to your images. Remember, explore the software, Enjoy the software and have fun with the software.